Yeah. Yeah. Can you smell the cheese? Why have I got two cucumbers in there? Ugh. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, then welcome. My name's Katie. If you've been here before, then welcome back. It's been a long time. The last video I uploaded was the beginning of December where I did my Christmas tree decoration. And I haven't posted anything since. Why? Because Christmas happened. And just where did the time go? I don't even know. I don't know how it's almost, well, it's a 10th. No, it's not. It's the 11th of January today. I filmed this food haul yesterday when it came in the evening. It came about 10 to 10 at night. And I was so shattered that I just, Threw it all on the floor, filmed on the floor. I was literally laying down doing it, you'll see. And then I put away the fridge and freezer bits and left everything out on the floor. I just thought, you know what? A little bit, I can't be bothered. Anyways, I did film this intro and the outro all out, like literally 10 minutes ago, but I left the TV running in the background, so there was Octonauts um, jitting away. And I thought, you know what? You don't want that. You don't want that. I mean, obviously, you're gonna have Albert in the background making these ridiculous noises, but I can't stop that. I just can't. I can't just click a mute button on him, can I? If you do like these kinds of videos, then please click the like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, and and stick around until the end of the video to see what meals I've got planned for the week as well. Without further ado, I'm gonna get on with the shopping. Right, here's my shopping, all out on the floor. There's my cat. So, I'm going to start off with my substitutes because they're right here at the top of my list on my phone. So, I ordered some food for Baby Albert. Um, because you know what? Who has time to make dinner every night? I did want the tomato mozzarella pasta shells, but they didn't have any. So, we got substituted for the sweet potato and lean beef hot pot. But, I had already ordered in one. Where is it? Should be another one somewhere. I had already ordered one, so he's got three of those. Let's hope he likes them. They were £1.30 each. And as I'm doing the baby food, I've got a sweet and sour chicken and a veggies, pork and mango. Sounds quite disgusting, really, but we'll see. We'll see if he likes them. These wraps here, I did order a big eight-pack of the Asda's Own. And then a mini eight pack of the Asta Zone. They had none of them. So we've got two big packs of six Mission Deli wraps. Chicken here. Oh, in a little bag. I did order two of the 350 gram boxes with the, you know, the little ones with the two breasts in each. They were meant to be £2.20 each, but this one was £4.3p. You get the same amount. It's just a bit annoying because I'm going to have to open this up, bag it up, and then freeze one. You know, more hassle for me. These crisps here, we were meant to get prawn cocktail skips. Six bags for a pound twenty-five. I didn't have any, so we've got quavers instead. These, well, they, the skips were for Albert, so... Hopefully he likes them. Gosh, we look like crisp fiends this week, don't we? Two packets of Monster Munch, one packet of What's It's. Dan will take some to lunch. Albert likes What's It's. I'm quite partial to a What's It. Then again, I'm quite partial to a Monster Munch. Pickled onion, you know? That's fine. There were three, four three for some ink. That was meant to be in a deal. I don't think I got the deal. It was meant to be in a three for something, but I don't think I got the deal. It's not on the um, receipt, so that's that. Oh well. I got a pack of four double deckers. I just really fancied a double decker. Pack of four twirls and a pack of four whispers. Um, again, Dan will take them to lunch. Got to keep them sweet, haven't we? Going over to cooking sauces. We're a bit all over the place because obviously we've just thrown them down as we got them from the basket at the door. These were two for two pounds or one pound fifty odd each. We've got a Sherwood's sweet and sour sauce. We've got a Sherwood's tikka, tikka, extra creamy. There's a home pride tomato and bacon pasta baked and a home pride sausage casserole. I've got sausages in the freezer, so got some farfalle, 70p for the farfalle pasta. And then this stuff here, taco seasoning, 70p. That is for 
Taco Crunch Wraps, which I haven't got the guacamole for. They didn't have that in stock, and I don't have the tortillas. So, you know what? We're not doing too well, are we? Picked up these for Albert, Mr. Kipling, 30% less sugar, slices. He just he enjoys them. He enjoys one every now and then. They're much better with the icing, but you know what? 30% less sugar, keep them a bit healthier. And some bread for 49p, medium slice white we've got baby plum tomatoes which were 58p no they weren't i'm lying they were 99p these were 58p red onions and a big bag of potatoes for 91p we needed washing up liquid so i got some zesty lemon for 37p bargain how much were you naan breads where's my light going Two garlic and coriander naans. That's to go with our tikka. I've got ball in the bag rice in the cupboard already. Uh, 69p for that. Baked beans. But you know what? Reduced salt because we are good girls and boys here. A pound for four. Sorry everyone, I've got really bad like heartburn at the moment. So I'm just constantly stopping, you know? Uh, moving down here, I've needed shampoo and conditioner for so long now. Got the L'Oreal Elvive Dream Lengths Restoring Shampoo and Conditioner for £2.50 each. They were reduced from something ridiculous that I would never pay the price of. Down to our laundry bits, we have got this big tub of Fairy Non-Bio Pods. Washing pods, you know? What am I chatting about? Uh, 26 washes. £4.95 and then this Lenore Outdoorable. I've only just started getting this. Um, we used to just get the blue one, the blue Outdoorable. Thought we'd try the, the pink one. It smells amazing and it really, it sticks to your clothes. Just there, some mayonnaise. That was 73p. Oh, I'm now, I'm now laying down everyone. I'm laying, it's been a hard day. You know, it's, it's about two minutes to ten right now. Uh, back there, we have got, there's a black sack there as well, black sack. Six pints of blue milk for Alberto. We have got, hiding under here, pack a lure pack. Pack a lure pack. Um, she was £3.25. I've got a lettuce that was 46 pence. And two cucumbers. I thought I only ordered one. Nope, I ordered two. This is the thing about shopping online. I'm just bad at it. They were 90p each, so I spent £1.80 on blimming cucumbers. 80p on this big 12 pack of fromage fraise. Always has one for pudding. And then for Dan's lunches, I got him two chicken and bacon slices. Just there. This is a lot easier than making him sandwiches. And two chicken and mushroom slices. So I will pop those in little bags for him, make his lunch up. Be a good wife. They were £1.75 each. Got some tomato salsa. That was 90p. We've got 500 grams of steak mince, 5% fat, £2.89. 38 breaded chicken nuggets for £2. Not gonna lie, don't mind a chicken nugget wrap now and again. We had one the other day. It was quite amazing. Got three cheese pizza. This is only a pound. No, it's not, it's 90p. Best deep crust. Cheesy pizza for the price. Around, really, I'd say. If you haven't tried it, try it. That's just a, you know, a I can't be bothered to cook, throw it in the oven kind of dinner. And then finally, we got some cheese. You like chips? Can you smell the cheese? Can you smell the cheese? Yeah, some cheese. Um, This was, I believe, three pounds. I can't have my fridge without cheese. No, it, it was not £3, it was £2.20. That's better, isn't it, than £3? Uh, altogether, I've probably already mentioned this, I spent £65.78. And, you know what? I don't think it was that much of a bad haul. Look at me, I've got a hole in my leggings. Oh. Now, it's just time to put this away, but I might just put away the fresh stuff and the froze, like, the fridge and frozen stuff and put the rest of it away tomorrow morning when I've got Albert to help me well who knows so that was all the shopping 
this is the one thing I don't like about the one thing, and there's quite a few things I don't like about online shopping, is that like when you actually go into a shop, you've got your basket, your trolley there. You can visually see the meals. It's like that's how I, I shop. But if I'm online, then I'll put a couple of bits in my basket. And then I'll probably forget about a couple of bits. And then I'll add two th two of the same things. Like two cucumbers. Why have I got two cucumbers in there? Anyways, what can we do? What can we do? So this week is all about easy dinners. Um, lots of jars, sorry, but can't help it. Really fancied a, what? Really fancied a chicken sweet and sour. So we've got that with rice. We've also got the chicken tikka with rice and naan bread. We had a korma last week, which was amazing. So I'm just like shaking the boat up a little bit, having a tikka. Then obviously we've got the sausage casserole with the sausages in the freezer that I mentioned about earlier with mashed potato. I've got the pasta bake there just in case. It's like a backup dinner, isn't it? Just shove some pasta in, jar of sauce, mix it up. But they have a bish bash bosh. Last week we had uh, these chicken nugget wraps. It was like a, I needed to go shopping. I knew I had some chicken nuggets in the freezer. So I just did that with some lettuce and some sauce and Dan said it was one of the best dinners I'd made in a while, which to be fair, it was quite good. It was just like a chicken wrap. So I'm doing them again, just because they're so easy. I've got the pizza there. If for one evening, maybe Dan doesn't want dinner, and I do, because I always want dinner. I'm always, I'm, I'm a sucker for dinner. Like I will, I, I can go all day and not eat as long as I have dinner. Can't go to bed without dinner. What else? Oh, I've got the taco crunch wraps. So that's what I'm going to use the mince for. But half of that is for the, half of the mince is for the taco crunch wrap. And the other half of the mince is for a spag bowl that I'm going to make. But I've got all the chopped tomatoes and everything else in the cupboard already. Veg, any kind of veg, I've got it frozen. But I do need a top up soon. Yeah, I think that's about it. I've got a couple of other bits in the freezer. Like, I'll, with the potatoes. Potatoes! Um, there's quite a few potatoes yeah I'll, yeah i'll probably do some wedges with the potatoes go, go, go. and use some of the leftover sausages in the use some of the leftover sausages in the freezer mm -hmm. i just want to clear it all you've had a poo and he's had a poo so i'm gonna have to change it i'm so i'm so glad that i've got all my washing liquid and pods now for at least a month because i've got i've got all the baby stuff to wash and i know I've still got three months, still got three months, but it just takes so long to wash all the baby stuff. Please don't turn the computer on. No, it's on now. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Um, I hope you did enjoy it. Again, apologies I haven't been here, but every time I have filmed, I've just looked at the footage like, no, that's the wrong lighting, that's the wrong angle. You look like, I've just looked really bad in it all. But I... You know what? I never really look that great. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching. Click that like button if you enjoyed the video. And also subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to have to blur his butt out. I don't want a naked baby. I thought he was in the chair. I just don't want a naked baby on my channel. So yeah, thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll see you again in the next video. Which will be soon.